Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi in Mathematics, today we have a very interesting exponential equation, 4 to the x equal to 8x, and we need to find our x, if you have your solution, your answer, you can also write your solution down into the comment section, this is very, very tricky question. So first of all, how can we solve this question? There are a lot of ways, but I'm going to show you this one. Let's divide both sides by 4 to the power x, let's do this right now, so as a result, what do we have right here? We have 4 to the x, we're going to divide by 4 to the x of our left side, equal to 8x, we're going to divide by 4 to the power x. So we change nothing, we just divide both sides by 4 to the power x. Right now, on the left side, we can easily cancel this 4 to the x, because we have absolutely the same numerator denominator, so right here we have 1 on the on the left side. On the right side, when we know a really great property, when we have 1 over a to the power b, when we bring this 4 to the x to our numerator, we can easily, we need to change sign. So we have a to the power minus b, so we have 4 to the power minus x, if we are talking about our numerator. Let's do this right now. So we have right here 1 equal to 8x, yeah, we have 8x times 4 to the power minus x. So this is our first step. We just divide both sides by 4 to the power to the power x. Right now let's change position because we prefer our one on the right side. So right now let's change position. As a result, what do we have? We have 8x. 8x times 4 to the power minus x is equal to is equal to 1. Okay, we just change position, it changed nothing because we're talking about equal signs, so it doesn't matter left side, right side, uh, we can easily swap it. So this is our expression, this is our expression right now. Uh, how can we do this question? Let's divide both sides by 8. Let's do this right now. So let's divide both sides by 8. As a result, what do we have on the left side? When we divide both sides by 8, we can easily mm, write it like that, so 8x times 4 to the power minus x, we're gonna divide by 8 our left side, and we're going to divide our right side, equal to 1 over over 8. From here we can easily cancel, of course, that's why we divide by 8, we need to cancel this from the, from the left side. Equal to, right now what do we have right here, x times 4 to the power minus x, x times 4 to the power minus x, equal to 1 over 8. And right now uh, there is one really great way how can we solve this uh, question, a very interesting, very important way. This way is called uh, using uh, applying Lambert W function. I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel about this Lambert W function, but I'm going to explain you this uh, uh, question once more, maybe a lot of new, uh, a lot of new, new viewers on my channel, so I will explain you once more. So when we when we have this type of expression a times e to the power a, when we apply Lambert W function from this expression, this is equal to to our a. And saying in simple words, for example, we have 2 times e to the power 2, when we apply Lambert W function from here, we have our, our 2, because a is equal to 2. So we hope you understand this step, but we have a complicated expression, we don't have like an um, expression which is like ready to apply for applying Lambert W function, we have complete like randomly chaotic expression. So right now, first of all, let's uh, create e. We can easily do this, because instead of this 4, we can write e to the power natural log 4. So instead of this 4, we can write, instead of this 4, we can write e to the power natural log 4. According to log property, this is absolutely correct expression. So instead of this 4, let's write e to the power natural log 4. Let's do this right now. So we have x times e to the power natural log 4, e to the power natural log 4. And of course, don't forget about this minus x. We need to raise this to the power minus x is equal to 1 over 1 over 8. And right now, e to the power, uh, for example, we have right here a to the power x raised to the power y. When we have this type of expression, a to the power x raised to the power y, we need to, we need to multiply our x times y. And in this case, we need to multiply natural log 4 times, natural log 4 times minus x. So let's do this right now. So we have right here x times e to the power, in the first position let's write minus x, for better understanding, minus x times natural log 4 equal to 1 over 8. Okay, this is our first step, we create our e, because we really need this e in terms of Lambert W function. What are we going to do next? Right now, let's multiply both sides by minus natural log 4. You ask me why? Okay, right here we have minus x natural log 4. Right here we have x. When we multiply both sides by minus natural log 4, we will have right here minus natural log 4 in the beginning. And this gives us the great expression, because we will have like the same expression in front of e and the power of e. Let's see what will happen. If you don't understand me, I hope you understand this uh, step. So, it multiplying by minus natural log natural log 4. So we're going to multiply both sides by 
minus natural log 4. Let's do this right now. So we have minus x times natural log 4, yeah, right here when we multiply by uh, minus natural log 4 our left side, times e to the power minus x times natural log 4, okay, and equal to, and we multiply our right side, so minus natural log 4 over, over 8. Okay, and right now let's look closely right here on the left side. Minus x natural log 4, minus x natural log 4. This is absolutely the same expression. You can easily keep in mind that this is, for example, our a, this is our a, and if we are talking about lambda w function, lambda w function of a times e to the power a is equal to a. So we have a great expression for applying lambda w function. So right now let's apply our I will lambda w function on the left side. So lambda w function of this expression minus x times natural log 4 times e to the power minus x times natural log 4. Don't forget about the right side. So uh, lambda w function of minus natural log 4 over, over 8. Okay. And right now, as I told before, lambda w function of a times e to the power a equal to our a. So only this expression on the left side. So as a result, we have minus x times natural log 4 on the left side equal to lambda w function of minus natural log 4 over over 8. And right now let's find our, our x from here. How can we do this? Of course, let's divide first of all both sides by uh, natural log 4. Let's do this right now. So let's divide both sides by natural log 4. We have right here minus x is equal to lambda w function of minus natural log 4 over 8. And we divide it by natural log 4. And the final tricky move, this is our negative x. When we multiply both sides by minus 1, we will have that our x is equal to, and we have right here minus, minus lambda w function, minus lambda w function of this expression, minus natural log 4 over 8, and we divide it by, and we divide it by natural log 4. This is our answer, but I think a lot of students are interested in a, in exact value, not like in this type of expression. So right now, let's simplify this a little bit, and secondly, let's find our approximately value in terms of like mass libraries. First of all, this natural log four can be written as natural log of two square, and as a result, we will have like two natural log. 2, and this 2 will cancel with this 8. So as a result, we have natural log 2 over over 4, okay? So let's do this right now. Let's write our x. Uh, x is equal to, uh, right here we have minus lambda w function, minus lambda w function of minus, as I told before, natural log 2 over 4, because these are 2 square, these 2 can be written in front of this natural log, these 2 can be cancelled with this 8, right here we have 4, so natural log 2 over 4, minus natural log 2 over, over 4. And, of course, we divide it by natural log 4, natural log 4. This is our final answer, but uh, right now I'm going to show you the exact value to this question, because this lambda w function has indices, okay? This lambda w function has indices, and when we mm, uh, find this uh, value of this lambda w function in terms of indices, we will have two solutions, and this is extremely, extremely great. So as a result, what do we have right here? x first, x first is equal to uh, minus lambda w function of minus natural log 2, over 4, and we divide it by natural log 4, natural log 4. And when I plug in this, uh, uh, this expression in internet library for approximately value for exact value, it gives us that x first is approximately equal to 0 0.155. This is our x first, but also this lambda w function uh, can be written with indices uh, minus 1, so as a result we have x second is equal to minus lambda w function with minus 1 in this right here, minus natural log 2 over 4, and we divide it by natural log 4, natural log 4, and right here when we plug in this question in, uh, when we plug in this expression in terms of like a minus the first index, when we plug in it, x second is approximately, uh, not approximately, like equal to, equal to 2. And I think that a lot of students say, okay, x is equal to 2, this is an obvious solution, because in the beginning what we had, we had 4 to the power x equal to 8x. And a lot of students might be saying, this is like a very easy question. Uh, we have 2, we have 4 square equal to 8 times 2, we have 16, 
which is equal to 16 and a lot of students say that okay x is equal to 2 i don't need to watch this video because yeah this is very easy x is equal to 2 but as you can see there is no way you will find the first solution we have x first is equal to um, approximately equal to uh, 0 0.155 and there is no way you will solve this you will find this x first and uh, when we sketch a graph real quick right now we can also see a graph from from math library for for like a proof but when we sketch a graph real quick it looks like we have two solutions because four to the x right here we have exponential function yeah we have exponential function and we have right here we have 8x these are the linear functions so if we sketch it real quick we can easily see that we have two two solutions so x second equal to x second equal to two we can easily solve it by inspection but what about x first there's no way you will solve this question by inspection according to according to your inspection method because there is no way you will find this root so this is like a proof to solve this question algebraically and step by step you can easily check your solution by inspection but uh, when we're talking about algebra try to solve this question try to factor something try to uh, try to solve this question try to divide try to apply lambert w function and then you can easily say okay i solve this question completely i have two roots but when a student solve this question only in two or three lines they write at x is equal to two and they prove it in, in three or four lines this is extremely bad thing in terms of in terms of mass so two solutions for, uh, one solution two roots sorry yeah we have two real so two real roots the first one the second one we have x first equal to this expression x second equal to two and this is my this is my uh, answer to this question so this is my answer i don't have enough space to rewrite our answer so you can easily see this answer right here we have x first and we have x x second two solutions to answer to uh, to my to my question thank you for your time i hope you understand it i hope you learn something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong you can also write your question down into the comment section let's exchange information let's see uh, let's uh, read your notes let's see what what do you think about these type of questions or your notes about this question maybe you have your your method not with lambert w function because a lot of students don't learn don't know this lambert w function maybe you have mm, your approach in terms of power rule yeah this is also it will be really great to read about your approach thank you for your time write a question down into the comment section wish you all the best in your life see you in the next videos and have a great day